Hi everybody, I want to do a quick study of Microsoft for 2024 uh, kind of projections based on what's been going on in 2023 and 2022. So the most interesting things uh, from the technical analysis, you'll see three points where we kind of slowed down. Um, that can tell us quite a lot about what potentially could happen um, in 2024 um, as well as this section here. So. Um, we probably want to look up at the upward trends, believe it or not, here um, and try to help that understand these trends here. We see basically one, two, three, four, maybe th maybe even five trends here. We have one, two, three, four, or five maybe trends here going up um, as well as some horizontal movement. Perhaps the most important section is this July to October section of 2023. Um, looking at that carefully to try to understand what happened here. However, due to the diversity of the ups and downs in this last segment, this most recent segment, um, just the last few months uh, since the start of uh, almost April, we can see that that's probably going to be the best answer to so what we need to see here. So that section I zoomed in here, and then we can start to look in the MACD um, to see some details about what happened. So I added the Elder Force Index to try to see these main sections. So we can see that this section right in here is actually very important um, for what happened um, most recently. And you can see there's both the uh, uptrend and a downtrend. And actually the uptrend was slightly higher. Um, but then after that, we see that there's a kind of a leveling out where the uptrend is about the same as the downtrend in terms of the uh, volume and uh, actual price action. Now the concern here is that this is basically a downtrend and this is all kind of a lower force. So, but we definitely see the downtrend here on the price action. Anyway, I'm gonna go back and look at this one other piece of the puzzle, which is this section right in here um, on the chart. And so what we see in that middle circle is basically a pretty significant downtrend. Um, on the MACD, you can see that there, and you can also see it here. Um, however, you don't really see it on the force index, interestingly, right? So you actually see quite a lot of force on the positive side. That's because early on there was a quite an uptick here from here to here. So, so overall, it's been quite positive for Microsoft, um, but I would say in the last um, week or so, it's been a little bit negative, meaning uh, there is kind of a turnaround here potentially. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this study. Let me know what thoughts and ideas you have. Thanks a lot.